Hey, welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am PJ. So I read in the news very recently, I think it was a director of the FBI said words to the effect of, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when the homeland gets attacked by uh, terrorist in a manner and again he listed about four things they're going to simultaneously strike infrastructure you know uh psychological targets uh cyber yada 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 and i talked about that on patreon because this video is going out to youtube also so it's coming right we know it we all know it. we're preppers for a reason we're prepared for all comers come on bring it <clears throat> well, my first selfish thought was, uh, and I just did a video on this the other day too on Patreon, um, how fragile our electrical system is in this country and how easy it actually is to just make it go boof. And I'm not talking about an EMP, but our electricity could go out and it could stay out for a long time. And I lived in a situation one time where the electricity went out in this little town we were living outside of, um, and it didn't come on for a while. There's a big ice storm, lots of generators went down, blah, blah. You couldn't buy a generator, like a gas powered generator. And because the power was out so long, uh, you couldn't pump gasoline because there's no electricity to pump it. And the town's water supply stopped pumping. And so the town was without water because there was no electricity for the system to work. And so problems just compounded Murphy. Well, my personal opinion when I first heard, yes, the attacks are coming, was, well, that's why I'm on solar. Here. Uh, my whole house is on solar. You can take the grid down. I, I don't care personally. I care for you, uh, but I don't care personally. And then I thought, okay, the, you know, you've got a prepper channel, you should help people. And for you to go out right now and set up an entire solar system for your house is gonna be difficult and expensive. I know, I get it. But there are options. If the power goes out at your house, what is your plan? A lot of preppers, I know it was my first go-to when I started moving up in the prepper sphere, if you will, was gasoline powered generator. And in fact, I have three right now, three gasoline powered generators. The problem with a gasoline powered generator is what? What is the weakness of a gasoline powered generator? Gas and access to more gas. I don't care how much gas you, you store up for your generator. At some point, it's quite conceivable that you will get to the end of that gas. And when you do, chances are high that you will not be able to replace it. And so now you have no electricity. That's a problem. Here's a solution. I have been playing with this for about two weeks and I love it. This is the, oops, here, here's their box. Mega One Power Station. There's a bunch of deals on this that I'm going to tell you about. Uh, big money off, hundreds of dollars um, off of this. It's a 1,024 watt hours of power. So what you do, basic, you know, electricity math, once this thing's charged up and ready to go, and I'm going to get into how you do that, but I'm telling you right now what it can do, because it's very small, right? And it's very light. You can carry that with one, you can carry the whole system in one carry. Um, picture a 60 watt bulb. How many times does 60 go into 1024? That's how many hours of running that one bulb it is. How much power does your cell phone draw when charging? Significantly less than 60 watts. I mean, it's like almost infinitesimal. Divide that infinitesimal amount into 1024, and that's how many hours of charging of your cell phone or your laptop, or for some of y'all, one of the biggest things you're gonna need when the, when the grid goes down to just live normally is a fan right we power our fan off of this that's what we actually have been using it for uh, while i've been testing it out and it it lasts all night 
this thing will charge it's already set up you don't need any adapters it'll charge all the phone cords all your little usb type plug-in things all right here it takes your ac uh stuff right here you got a cigarette lighter uh thing if you want to plug into that the way you charge it up is three ways there's three ways to charge this thing so it's sitting there ready to go when you need it uh, the easiest way for the vast majority of y'all is with this included plug you plug it into your wall the uh, display comes up there we go I'm at a hundred percent the display comes up and uh It'll probably, when I got this one, I think it was at 60% when, when it came out of the box. And I, I, I charged it up and it just shows you the charge going up. This thing has a bazillion recharges ability. It's got high speed batteries in it. It's got the inverter already in it. It's pure sine wave. It's 2000, um, here, it's on here, 2000 watt output power. So that means not only will it power for 1000 plus watt hours it'll power up to 2000 watts of stuff that's almost everything um, now you would have to divide 2000 and 1000 that would be 30 minutes right if you're actually using it for 2000 watts but you won't be you'll be charging your phones you'll have a light going hopefully it'll be like an led light right because they draw a lot less power than a 60 watt light bulb does i was just using that for uh examples all right the other way to charge it up is with a cigarette lighter. You can plug it into whatever and charge it up that way. The way I choose to charge it up because I live off grid is with these solar panels. And I got this four pack of solar panels right here. They unfold their hard panels and they have all the wires that come with them. Um, and it just plugs right in to the charger and I charged this thing from 60% to 100%. It was a full sunny day, it was about three days ago. I don't know, I came back like two hours later and looked at it and it was at 100%. So somewhere in less than two hours, it charged all the way up. That's the key to this thing. See, you can use it and recharge it and use it and recharge it and you can be charging it while you're using it. You could run an extension cord out to it, put your panels out in the sunlight be recharging it and be drawing power off it at the same time unlike a gasoline powered generator that you've got to go find some gas and that could be impossible to dangerous to do this you can do in the comfort of your own home uh, i really love this it's small enough to carry around if you want to go somewhere if you want to go help mom out you know or something like that here mom i got some power for you show her how to hook it up to the solar panel if there's no electricity going on and uh, she can keep it recharged. Or you can come check on her yourself if you're the good son or daughter. But this thing is awesome. Um, did I tell you it's pure sine wave? Meaning you can run your laptops, cameras, computers, everything off of it. Gang, the time is coming when you are going to need access to electricity. You're just going to need it. And this is made by Oops. I have a couple oops generators and i love them they are high quality generators they're they're light they're tough you can just carry it around uh sk uses another one it's actually bigger than this we're probably gonna switch it to this one next to her nightstand and we charge that thing up like once every two or three weeks and then it just sits next to her nightstand and it's like her receptacle so she plugs her laptop into it when she's working on her computer at night or she'll plug her phone into it and that kind of thing um we use different types of lights so we don't plug lights in but you could do that too we have plugged fans into this when it's hot out because we don't have air conditioning and so we plug a fan into it at night and run the fan on it so they're very useful you should give them a look i'll put links down below right now this is new it's lightweight it's little uh, but yet powerful there's a sale on for like the first opening week. That, that's a big piece off. I'm going to give you a link. That's an additional $50 off. And then I'm going to give you a code, a coupon code. I think it's VK5, but don't, don't quote me on that. Look, look down below. I'll put all the information in the description of this video. That's for an additional 5% off. So 
you're getting a really good deal on this and you will have the peace of mind uh, that comes with having an OOP solar power generator uh, to handle what, what life's fixing to throw at you. Um, if you already have an OOPS generator, because I've talked about them before, one is none and two is one, right? Or get one to share or get one to take with you when you go somewhere. You could take this thing to the fishing hole and plug your boom box into it if that's what you're into. Or your little oomps, 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 oomps lights, you know, and have a little party at the camp out or something. But they're really good and they're quiet. Like no noise. Not like a generator where the neighborhood of zombies is going mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and, and then comes running after you because you got a generator going. Quiet easy to recharge all you need is sunlight and again you can recharge it from your wall socket if you're using it that way or from a, a vehicle um, but give them a look the oops mega one right here all the links down below it, it gets my seal of approval all right i may see you out there